We'll start with the electrical synoptic. The bus indications, indicated by the ovals on the display, will be green when the bus is powered normally, and amber with off near it if they're not powered. The battery, indicated by the lines inside the box in the middle of the display, will be green when the battery is discharging normally, white when there's no load in the battery, and amber if the battery is discharging abnormally or if the voltage is low. The transformer rectifiers will indicate white when operating normally and amber if they have failed. The generators on the left and right side of the bottom of the display will be green when they're connected and powering the airplane normally, white when they're disconnected, or amber if there's a problem preventing them from connecting. The external power generator, shown currently by EXT with a chevron and lines above it, will indicate white when available and disconnected, green when external power is connected and available, and blank when it's not available. APU similarly will indicate green when connected normally, white when available and disconnected, blank when not available, or amber if held off due to a problem. The bus ties shown currently in the bottom of the screen indicate the position of the AC bus ties. Green and touching both lines of the flow lines is closed, white and disconnected is open. The same concept applies to the DC bus tie shown on the top of the screen currently. Green being closed, white being open. The battery in the off position connects the battery only to the battery direct bus. In the on position, it connects it to both the DC transfer and battery direct. The emergency power switch in the on position connects the battery to the emergency power AC and DC systems to the emergency inverter. In the off position, it disconnects it and resets it, preventing it from connecting even if there's power to the airplane lost. In the arm position, it allows the airplane to connect power automatically from the battery to the emergency systems through the inverter. It also initiates the emergency power self-test if on the ground with both engines off, indicated by the EMER power test enunciation on the EAD and the on light above the switch. The emergency power system can supply power to the battery direct bus, DC transfer bus, emergency AC bus through the emergency inverter, and emergency DC bus. This is shown here by disconnecting the external power generator, leaving only emergency power. We've lost power to all other buses, causing the right display units to go out. The bus tie switches, when in the open position, prevent the system from automatically closing the bus ties to supply power to the airplane. This is indicated here, as we've lost our left AC bus. When the switch is put back to auto, the left AC bus tie will close, connecting power. The DC bus tie switches function in a similar fashion. When in the auto position, they will allow the DC bus ties to close automatically and supply power. In the open position, this is not allowed, as indicated by the loss of both left AC and DC power. The generator switches have three positions. Reset, used to clear a resettable fault. Off, which disconnects it from the system. And on, which connects it to the system if it's creating power. The APU generator switch functions similarly. Reset being used to clear a resettable fault. Off, disconnecting it from the system. And on, connecting it to the system if it's creating power. The external power switch has only two positions, off and on. On, connecting external power to the system if it's available. Off, disconnecting it. The galley power switch is used to connect or disconnect power from the galley. The ground service ELEC power switch in its off position is in its normal state. In the on position, it will connect external power to the ground service AC bus and power the ground service DC bus. This is usually performed with the external power switch on the electrical control panel off. The 717 has an automatic no brake power transfer system, or NBPT, meaning that when power is lost from the current source, another electrical source will automatically pick up the load without power interruption. In the case of an engine flame out or when transitioning from APU to an external source, a brief break may occur. The amber on enunciation will appear over the emergency power selector if it has been engaged automatically due to loss of power, it is in the on position, or it is performing its self-test. The enunciators above the left and right side generator switches indicate what is powering outside of the airplane's systems if it's not the standard generator. For example, APU is enunciated in blue on the top if it's APU, EXT on the bottom in blue if it's external, or the offside generator in blue in the middle if it's the offside generator. APU indicates blue on above it when it's available, and external indicates green avail above it when it's available.